An 11 year old boy is accused of making 20 threats to schools across Flagler and Volusia counties in May. The child who is from Virginia has been arrested. We're not naming the child or showing you their photograph due to his age. West Shoes Lana Munoz is live for us in Flagler County where the sheriff and other state leaders say these types of threats must end. Luana. Yeah, that's right, Stuart. Apparently this lasted about 10 weeks. This investigation, the kid, as you mentioned, lives in Virginia and allegedly admitted to making these threatening calls. Now, the sheriff said today that every time one of those threats were made, a lot of resources were poured into keeping kids safe here in Flagler and Volusia counties. Flagler County Sheriff's Office, Ashley, how can I help you? I just shot my teacher in the head. This 911 call placed in May was one of 21 swatting or fake threats placed at Flagler County and Volusia County schools throughout the month. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley says all of them, with the exception of one copycat, were placed by an 11 year old who lives in Virginia. Every case instilled fear in our students, teachers, parents, with many keeping their children at home until the end of the school year. Sheriff Staley says the suspect's family said the child had begun looking at dark and disturbing images online and that he had a dark side. During an interview with detectives, the child allegedly admitted to making the threats. He stated that he used methods he had learned online to try and circumvent law enforcement and hide his identity. Well, frankly, he failed at that. Detectives believe the child may have also made similar threats in other states across the country. During Thursday's news conference, Staley highlighted his support for new Florida legislation backed by state representative Paul Renner that places stricter rules for children on social media and the Internet. A whole generation has been raised digitally and it is destroying their lives. And this is yet another tragic story of why we have to act. Well, that 11 year old, as we mentioned, has been arrested for several or dozens of charges, including 14 felony counts of false report concerning the planting of a bomb. He is currently uh, at a juvenile detention facility in Virginia. The Department of Juvenile Justice and the state attorney here in Florida are working with officials in Virginia to have him transferred back here. For now, reporting live in Flagler County, I'm Luana Munoz. Back to you.